Hello everyone. I am Professor Dr. Bishwajoy Chatterjee. I am the Vice Chancellor of University of Engineering and Management, UEM Jaipur. I am an engineer by profession, and I have done my masters uh, from Jadavpur University, and then my PhD from National Institute of Technology, NIT, and a bit of research with National University of Singapore. I had done my previous video where I talked about uh, students asking me questions that should they lose a year or they should take admission this year. I motivated them saying that if you have the option, please do not lose a year because study through online is possible. Then again, I'm coming across a lot of questions and I have faced a lot of questions that what is the advantage of studying engineering or is studying engineering worth? I would like to again tell with 100% confidence to all admission seekers, students, the guardians that if you are looking to opt for engineering, engineering has been a profession ever since the start of time to provide one of the largest number of jobs, whatever be the time. It has always provided a number of jobs more than any other field that I can remember and engineering has been providing a lot of jobs of let also and if you are talking about the current scenario current situation then nothing like engineering providing the maximum number of jobs till now if you are thinking where are the sectors where engineering does provide job I would like to say you firstly do remember the IT sector. You know when we are talking about now about any sector providing a job we generally categorize whether it's IT sector or it is a government sector or it is a core sector. I should not say government sector I should say core sector. So IT sector and core sector and then again in IT you can have the division of government or non-government and then in core sector also you can have the division of government and non-government. But when you are firstly talking about the IT sector, be it government, be it non-government, then what is the profession that firstly comes to your mind? Definitely it's engineering. The maximum number of jobs given to the engineer are given to the engineers by this IT sector. Be it IT engineers, computer science engineers, electronics engineers, mechanical engineers, civil engineer, electrical engineer. See, the IT sector serves all domains. They serve the mechanical domain, they serve the mechanical purpose, they serve electrical domain, they serve electronics domain. So they need all sort of engineers to be recruited in the IT to know the topic, to know the product and accordingly perform. So all sort of engineers, whatever is the nature of engineering, are always recruited by the IT sector, which is one of the largest job providing sector in this entire world. So definitely, this is a high opportunity for engineers to grab a job in the IT sector. Then if you are talking about the core sector, I have also seen people who often ask me, so should I drop, drop out and prepare for government jobs as a whole? Like, should I stop studying or maybe I study any sector, I go to any field and my primary focus is studying for government jobs, preparing for government jobs. Again, I would like to remind you, if you are looking to work in the government, if you are looking to work in the government, then engineering again has got an edge over any other field, be it government, be it anywhere, but in government engineering again has got an edge. Why should I say, why, will I, why am I saying that the engineering has got an edge? The simple reason is that in engineering, through engineering, you are capable of getting a job which is possible to be acquired by any other sector, if you are uh, if you are capable of getting that job, if as an engineer again, you are capable of getting the same job. But as an engineer, you have got some extra opportunities, like you can be an assistant engineer, you can be a senior engineer, you can be a junior engineer, which are all designated fields of engineering in the government sector. So government sector has got that advantage, engineers have got that advantage for the government sector also. 
if i am talking about my university point of view i am the vice chancellor of uem jaipur i should tell that for the last two years again i have seen a tremendous boom in the engineering sector and i have seen many students grabbing huge number of job offers i have seen in my university in the last to last year in 29 in last year sorry in 2019 i have seen a student grabbing seven job offers himself one student acquiring seven job offers i have seen this year in 2020 i have seen a student acquiring nine job offers in my university in jaipur and apart from that i have seen many students grabbing six job offers five job offers four job offers innumerable number of job offers grabbed by a single student a package of 40 lakhs was on offer in the campus for the students to be grabbed that is the opportunity for an engineer and if you are talking about the percentage in 2019 in my university in jaipur i have seen that 123.22% job was acquired by the student why am i coming to this in this figure of 123.22 where from is this figure being deduced the number of job offers if you divide by the number of students then it comes to this figure because the number of job offers are much more than the number of students as many students have grabbed more than one job offer as i said one student grabbing nine job offers this year till february 2020 students had grabbed 97 and acquired 97.39 percentage of job offers already that is if you divide the number of job offers by the number of students it comes to 97.39 and the chances are still there placements are continuing in a full in full fledge in the online mode right now students are getting several offers to work from home also the interviews are happening through skype through online i've seen students getting getting job offers from lancers and council i've got i've seen students getting job offer from wipro from capgemini all these are happening during this situation of covid-19 during this situation of lockdown students are getting these job offers to work from home so there is a high opportunity of the students again getting a wonderful placement record doing a wonderful placement record even for this 2020 year that's the advantage of studying engineering students and guardians i would also say let us not forget we have talked we have talked about many warriors we have talked about the policemen we have talked about the doctors they are the great warriors of the country they are fighting for this covid-19 but please don't forget that the engineers are also some silent warriors when you are sitting at your home enjoying a movie in your mobile tv be it netflix be it amazon prime your what you are watching the movie don't forget that the engineers are working have made this platforms ready for you to work to have your life in some in some proper place and the engineers are continuously fighting for all purposes say for example in our country if i talk about we need several ventilators we need a huge supply of ventilators you have been seeing over news that so many institutes engineering institutes the engineers over there the students the researchers the professors are working to provide the best quality ventilators in the cheapest of cost possible this ventilator that you are seeing right now is a ventilator being designed by the researchers and the students of university of engineering and management uem jaipur where i am the vice chancellor this is the ventilator a low cost ventilator that the students are designing so that they can produce it and they can provide it to the country at the cheapest cheapest cost possible if you are talking about staying at your home 
if you are talking about you are staying back home, you don't forget that the power engineers, the electrical engineers, they cannot stay at home. They are working day in and day out so that the power remains proper. There is no shortage of power in our country. They are continuously working hard. So the engineers are there to work hard again in this sector. If I am talking about the factories to reopen, just imagine when this lockdown is over, when this COVID-19 situation is over, pandemic situation is over, when the factories reopen, you imagine the huge amount of pressure that will be there on the power engineers to again get, get the factories back to place. There will be a huge there will be a huge spike, there will be a huge thing and the power requirement will grow up so huge that the engineers will again need to work very very hard to get it in place. And you don't forget that we will need so many high quality equipments in the coming future to provide, to account for the speed to produce the things, produce the goods, the equipments in a speed which such that the time that is lost is make up for. You remember that we have lost a huge amount of time. Now we need to make up for that by producing things at a huge rate. So the factories will need several sort of things. This you are seeing right now on screen is developed by the engineers of university, my university, VM Jaipur, where you see this is a conveyor belt being designed by the students and the students are continuously, in our university students, electrical engineering students are continuously developing things which actually will account for this high speed that is needed by the industry in coming future. If you are talking about the mechanical engineers, don't forget when we are talking about now. Look forward towards electric vehicles and we will look upon to the mechanical engineers to produce the electrical electric vehicles in a huge scale. And in our university, UVM Jaipur, we are trying to convert several vehicles, this petrol diesel vehicles to electric vehicles so that we can provide it at a low cost. Like this is an electric bike being developed by the student or have been developed by the students of UVM Jaipur. This bike, electric bike, you can switch it on to the electric mode, you can switch it to a diesel mode or a petrol mode also, but you can move it, you can run it in an electric mode. This is a bike, you can see the students have developed it, the mechanical engineering students have developed it. Civil engineers can never be short of jobs because you will always need to construct, you will need to construct buildings, you will need to construct factories and if we need to increase the speed of production, factories will, need to be, will, will be needed to be constructed. So civil engineers will never be short of jobs. And let's not forget that if I combine all domains of engineering, be it electrical, be it mechanical, be it computer science, be it electronics, be it civil, all domains combined together, we can talk about robotics. If you are interested in seeing our robotics laboratory, University of Engineering and Management, UMJ stu students are working a lot in the robotics laboratory. If you are interested to have a look, you can see, at, see these products. You can see this is a humanoid robot being developed by the students. It can do all sort of operations. It can handshake, it can dance, it can different exhibit different poses. This is a spider robot being developed by the students of EVM Jaipur. This robot moves like a spider. You can see it can be used for purposes of spying by reducing its size. You can see this particular thing is a prosthetic robotic hand. What it does is when a person 
is not having a hand suppose a person i'm talking about medical again in the medical field a person is not having a hand he can wear this prosthetic hand and using the signals which which might be present in the person but the hand is not there then he can wear this robotic hand and get all the movements like this possible in his hand this is a 3d printer i can tell you 3d printer I means suppose this phone this is a phone this phone can be printed not manufactured so a 3d printer can print any object so this is a 3d printer being developed by the students of uem jaipur they have developed it in their laboratory at a very very low cost and they can print any object from this 3d printer these are the products i was talking about which is being developed by the students of uem jaipur so once again many teachers many many guardians many students have asked me sir should i opt for uem jaipur as my choice to study engineering i would say if you would like to do that you can definitely do it's a wonderful it is a good university it has produced for the produce some very good engineers produce some wonderful products it has it is being it is working for the industry right now our students are working for industry also they are developing some products to convert industry to industry 4.0 this is a product you are seeing which is actually through this you can this is a part of industry being converted to industry 4.0 you can see this machine is a welding machine which is generally controlled by human being this is being converted to an automatic welding machine by our students for the industry if you are interested i have seen my students getting wonderful job offers as i have said earlier wonderful percentage of job offers very good quality jobs they have got they are producing wonderful things for the industry they are producing wonderful things for the factory you can definitely opt for it you are seeing a wonderful video a 3d view of our campus this campus has got around 11 buildings including the workshops there is a mechanical workshop there is an electrical workshop and including the hostel blocks there are around 11 buildings and the mess and everything so you can see it's surrounded all over by the trees it's a wonderful ambience that you find over there once you enter there you find it's a gurukul like ambience absolutely gurukul like ambience surrounded by trees it's a wonderful building gothic architecture building then you see the students continuously sitting here and there using the wifi of the university and continuously surfing the internet doing their project work doing their uh, studies You always find this an interesting thing is being a hostel culture in hostel the wonderful thing is that you can always do group study the students work together they study in groups and i can tell you i have stayed in this i stay in this university at, at often and at several times i stay within the university premises and when i get up even at 2 o'clock in the night i can definitely see some students working in the workshop so that is the beautiful thing about a hostel culture the teachers stay within campus any student who wants to meet a teacher anytime he is always free to go and meet the teacher ask the teacher's question so it's a wonderful culture a teacher student uh, interaction is always there a wonderful friendship is there between the students within the hostel they enjoy their life and don't forget Jaipur is only 4 hours from Delhi so the whole IT block the core sectors who are residing or there in Delhi they're always ready to come to Jaipur with a 4 hours drive i would request all of you if you're interested for this university you can call up you can see the number 9887313330 you can call up in this number come down to the campus or call up to call up to the, in this number and take admissions online i invite all of you Thank you very much for watching this. Thank you so much.